Hey guys, I'm at San Manuel Casino. They actually have this really cool um, rock garden area um, outside of one of the high limit rooms. And so that's where I'm sitting. Um, one of my Patreon members, James, asked me to do a video on bankroll. And I thought that was actually a, a really interesting topic to touch upon because no one really talks about bankroll. So I thought I'd uh, kind of introduce how I manage my bankroll and what I bring with me to the casino. So if I'm going to the casino for a couple of hours, I'll usually bring about two to $300. That should last me a couple of hours. Um, but my local is about uh, 75 miles away from my house. And so I like to stay all day um, at the casino. So I bring with me uh, today, I brought $720 and I'm hoping that will last me all day. Um, as you know, sometimes money can go really, really fast and um, I actually kind of gamble a little bit differently because I'm a YouTuber and so I like to make a lot of YouTube videos. So I actually come with an agenda. Uh, so like today I need to make some cash me out episodes and a couple of my other betting strategy episodes as well as do a live stream and um, hope I can get some bonuses as well. So I'm hoping that $700 uh, will last me throughout the day. Um, when I play a game, uh, I go with intention. I actually set a specific goal. That's why you see me doing all these strategies like the cash, cash me out strategy or um, a, a specific betting strategy because if I just sit at a, ca at a slot machine and just start playing without sort of any intention of when I'm gonna cash out, I generally will lose my money and I know you guys can relate to that. Um, you guys watch these videos because you're avid gamblers and um, we've all been there where all of a sudden we get in the fever of, of playing a slot machine and all of a sudden our bankroll is gone. The other thing I do is I don't bring my ATM cards with me so I don't get uh, tempted to spend more than what my budget is. Everyone should be budgeting exactly what they plan to lose at the casino. So I went to the casino today with a full intention that the worst I'm gonna do is lose $700. Um, the other thing I do, uh, which hopefully you should know this, is I bring my winner's bank. Um, if you need a winner's bank, it's in the description down below uh, of the video, but this thing costs like $26, $27. It's the best investment you can do because you stick money in throughout the day and you leave the key at home, so it forces you to stash your money away and so let's see how I can do on my cash out strategy, the way I gamble and my betting and all of that and see how much money I can stick in my winner's bank. Hopefully I'll go home with as much money as I came with or even more. So that's how I manage my bankroll. Let's see me play a few games and in, in my betting styles and I'll show you how I cash out my tickets and stuff and let's see how much I can stick in the bank and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So one of the things I do when I sit down at a machine, hold on, I'm sticking in my $20 bill here. Um, is I try to have an objective of what I'm trying to do. So obviously I want to cash out with extra money. So in this instance, I'll cash out if I'm above 25 bucks. I'm gonna do $2 a spin on two cent denomination. Uh, so I'll either cash out ahead or I'm going to um, go broke. <laughs> in which case, then I decide whether I want to keep playing or not. Oh man. Let's see if the wager saver will do it. Sometimes they get a nice hit on this. Oh, got it. Oh, sweet. Okay. That worked out well. Let's see what I can do. Got it, okay. Those are the bonuses there. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was a nice uh, win from being at zero. All right, 70 bucks on that one. That was uh, excellent. Oh, I can keep going too. It's a good item on the free spins here. Oh, more. Keep it going. Yeah. I think someone has beat the uh, spin button to hell here because it's impossible to like get it to go. That was like 140 uh, something bucks. I didn't intend to hit another spin, but that's where I'll cash out. And if I want to keep playing, I'll stick in a new 20. Um, but I'll keep playing through my bankroll until I have tickets and then I'll go cashing in. So let's see a couple more games. Okay, so sometimes I'll start with a $100 bill. And in this case, my strategy is going to be don't go any lower than 60 bucks. And if I cash out above, say, like 120, uh, that's where I'll cash out. So I'll do, um, this is a nickel denomination, I'll do 250 a spin. This is one of those games I'm still waiting for my hand pay on. I've seen it done so many times with other people, but I've never had one myself. It's so easy to get caught up in just trying to catch a, a win that you just blow through your bankroll so fast. So that's why I always set like rules for myself or, or goals or strategies when I play a game. spin out of my uh, strategy here and it's a loser so this is where I say okay it's time to preserve my bankroll I'm gonna move on to a different game okay so I've got a whole bunch of tickets here I'm gonna go to the cash out machine now I'm not gonna record that but let's see what I can get out of my original bankroll from the cash out machine okay so I started with uh, a little bit over 700 like 720 and now I have 995 so let me cash that out taking forever. It's like the slowest machine in the world. There's all my money. 
some change and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's all my money. Um, I've got my winner's bank out and now this is the most important part. It's hard to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna attempt to do it. I'm gonna stick 200 bucks in my winner's bank. So I know for sure the maximum now that I will lose is 500 bucks and I'm gonna go home with 200 bucks. Okay, so there's 100. And let me stick in the other one. Okay, so now I've got 200 bucks in my winner's bank. I still have more than my original bankroll to play with. And that's how I'm gonna keep going throughout the day. And I'm gonna continue to stick money in my winner's bank. And this is how I manage my bankroll. Okay, just got my bonus on Timberwolf. This is Nichols. Fifty bucks on that one. So I just finished my live stream, and um, I still have a bunch of cash in my pocket. I probably got about three hundred dollars here, and plus another about six hundred dollars I'm cashing out with. And so let's go over here for a sec. And you're just gonna have to trust that I'm gonna do this, but. Um, this is all my cash right here. I'm gonna take another $200, stick it in my winner's bank. So that'll get me up to 400 bucks uh, in the winner's bank. So now the worst I can do for today is only be down 300 bucks. And let's keep gambling. So one of the things I like to do with my bankroll is uh, the cash me out strategy. So let's do a whole cash me out episode for this episode and see how I do. Okay, here we go with uh, Liberty Link. I'm going to do, I think I can change the denomination. Let's do two cent denomination, two bucks a spin. So you get the diamonds, they go up there. And six or more. Wasn't very good. Let's uh, cash that out. I think I'm a got a dollar sixty. Let's move on to game number two. Got a dollar sixty. Uh, we're gonna do whatever this is called, the Pierce Factor game. We'll do a dollar sixty a spin. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's it, I guess. Okay, let me stick in my uh, other ticket. Not a good start, you guys. We got $3 after uh, two games. Let's move on to game number three. Okay, so I've got three bucks. We're gonna do Fort Knox. Let's do uh, just a dollar spin. Give me a little play action that way. Let me turn it up here. Do it? Okay. Sweet. Alright, so let me stick my $3 ticket. So after three games, we got $30.85. Let's move to uh, game number four. Okay, so I'm at game four. This is Heart Frog. I like doing two cent denominations. Let's do that. Let's do a dollar spin. Or, I'm sorry, two bucks a spin. games aren't working out for me. All right, let me stick in my ticket. And after four games, we have 31.73. All right, let's hope for a good one on game five. Okay, game five, I got $31. Let's see how I do on this one. It's a Konami game. I'm gonna do 30 and then 150. It's got this progressive there at the top. Oh, nice. Well, let's see how I do with it. I bet you get re-triggers off of two of them. Oh, something's happening. Oh, and that one. All right. Let's see what I can do with this. So those are the progressives. Blue one's gonna land in one of them. All right, it's 29 bucks if it goes in the jackpot. Ah, oh, darn it! You won the bonus. Four bucks. I'll be able to cash out on this one. Tiger 
Panthers there, and the Pandas. Only 54 bucks on that one. Hey, this might be a, a winning week. Let's see. Get a panda on the middle one. There they are. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, that's great. That's huge. 576. Oh my god. Wow, what a comeback. That's amazing. 288 ways. Holy moly. That's fantastic. Last shot. Hey, wow. I'm so glad that happened. What a great game. Okay, let me stick in my ticket. Oh, I thought it was gonna be such a bad week and I ended up with $700.91. Way to go, that was amazing. All right, well, that's how um, I do my bankroll thing. Pretty impressive, right? Uh, so I'll stick this uh, money, so, well, at least some of it in my uh, winner's bank, but uh, that was pretty fun. All right, let's see how I keep doing. Okay, 934 bucks. I'm gonna stick another 200 bucks in my winner's bank, so that'll put me up to 600 in my winner's bank. And uh, my initial $700 of uh, what I came with. So looks like if I lose all $700, I'll only have lost 100 bucks on the day, but uh, we keep going. Where's my money? Okay, here we go with Firelink. I am going to choose diamond denomination. I'm gonna do two bucks a spin. I like dimes on this because the progressives are quite nice. So when I sit down at a slot machine, I always try to have an end goal. Oh, sweet. And I got the miner, 520 bucks. I was gonna say I have an end goal, which is trying to like cash out when I'm ahead. <laughs> I only got one spin to show you, but ooh, amazing. All right. I love starting off with a $520 hit. This is on $2 spin, that's crazy. What happens is you keep playing and playing and playing and then all of a sudden your money's gone. So you gotta like have the objective to be like, okay, I wanna like cash out of all I'm in. One more. The mini's up there too on the second from the top. Oh man. Well. It doesn't matter. I got plenty of money here. That's great. Yay! Oh, that was excellent. Plus my initial, I only I had 98 bucks left in there, so it was like $600. All right. Looks like more money is going in my uh, winner thing. All right, 637, 634, 70 cents, cash now. Okay, so just got home. Here's my haul of fives and ones from the uh, uh, cash out machine and all my change. And here's my little key for the winner's bank. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. It might be a little bit tricky. Okay, just pop that open. And there's officially, oh, I'm not gonna count it out, but there's uh, $900 in the bank. Uh, so I did pretty good. Um, at the end, I, because I knew I had put $900 in the bank, I went a little crazy and uh, the that's when it started to lose at the very end. So I could have come home with more, but as you see, like I had some nice hits, but no jackpots and nothing like absolutely incredible. Um, it takes work to manage your bankroll and I think I did a pretty good job. I was able to profit a little bit of money today and uh, that's how I do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and take care. Have a great week, everyone.